here in Brazil, which is uh, in northeast Brazil, and we're with a range of reptile and amphibian species out there. And the main threat across most of the coastline of Brazil is loss of Atlantic forest. But one of the things that could, the area could benefit from the involvement of anthropology as well as the conservation cereals already working out there by getting local people who may not be so interested in in the topics that are, that are important. You know, a lot of people there, same as over here really, get the vibe between people who do care about the wildlife and people who just kind of, you know, although all they're looking for is, um, is development and that's what they're worried about. So although some of them are from the city, some of them are from more rural areas, but certainly if you get um, more anthropological studies involved, you can see people, how they perceive the wildlife in the area and the kind of usage they get out of there. Anthropogenic issues that are at the heart of most conservation problems. So if you're going to address those and it may be important to assess what the current situation is with say local communities and say a piece of forest and if they've already got a positive view towards conservation then that's fine. They might have a neutral view towards conservation. It might be the forest is no real benefit but it, there's no real drain on their resources. The biggest challenges lie where there's a conflict and where local people are actually not getting any benefit from a particular forest or conservation unit, whatever you want to call it. 